happy Wednesday, you guys. I'm out. Oh, look at that bee. It's big old bumblebee, you guys. I hope it don't come my way. Look. Whoa. I'm a little afraid. Oh, no. You guys. I'm sorry, but I... I am really afraid of bugs, especially bees, bumblebees, and those, um, what do you call those things? The big old psychedelic color, oh God, the beetles. Yeah, the beetles, you guys. I am like totally afraid of those. And it looked like that one was coming my way, so you guys are about to see me have a whole fit out here. But anyways, I'm out. Um, who's back? I'm letting Lovey out. Trying to make sure I don't get my dog. Lovey? Um, I'm back. Anyways, you guys, it's like the afternoon and um, I'm just now turning on the camera. I kind of like did my hair, washed my hair last night and then I twisted it up last night and I was looking a mess and then I untwisted it and did all of everything I needed to do with that. Filmed a video and I was on the phone with Babe most of the morning so it just took forever to pull the camera out. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm getting ready to take Maya to work pretty soon. It's about 3, 3 o'clock, and she has to be to work by 4. So, um, about an hour, I'll be, well, about 45, 50 minutes, I'll be dropping her off. And then Michaela and I may go get our nails done because my nails are a mess. Oh, you guys, come on, lovey. I can't, I can't handle this bug out here. I'll, I'll see you guys in a minute. You bet you get out fast now. <laughs> oh my gosh, mom. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. So we're getting ready to get our nails done and we're going to be trying a new place. And <laughs> well Maya's been here. Her and her friend came here last week. Um but I'm just nervous because you know how you go to a new place, you don't really know how they're going to do on you, even though they did good on Maya. You just don't know. So, me and Michaela, we're going to give them a try and hopefully they do good. Stop playing, Amari. You see that car in front of you? Yeah. Guys, I cannot deal with my son. He said he don't want to be on camera, especially in public, because he's embarrassed because he see people see me holding the camera. All you got to do is look. Oh, they don't never, do on camera. never. He never do. They play on their phone all day. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna get him. <laughs> you too. Running from the camera for nothing. All right, you guys, so remember the last time that those packages came to my house? Well, look again. The same thing, same place, same same person, everything. I mailed them back the last time and then here they are again. I don't know what this lady has got going on, but she should be changing her mailing address and also her mail. I just think it's very weird that she's still on hasn't changed her address. That is just crazy to me. I'm just like, wow. Maybe she's sending gifts to me and I'm just not receiving them. What y'all think? Let me know. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, you guys. I know. I'm trying to figure out what happened to him. Babe called and said he was coming to get me. And that's all she wrote. So I went from being home yesterday to being on the truck today. <clears throat> and now I'm in, oh, I think South Carolina, North Carolina, one of these Carolinas. And then off to Virginia and then back down to Georgia. Um, so we should be home tomorrow, Friday, which will be Friday. 
but yeah, he um, on his way back home, you know, or to drop the load, he had to pass through um, where we live, and so he's like, babe, I'm gonna come get you. So I ended up coming with him. Um, did I show you guys my nails yesterday? We got our nails done. I don't think I showed you guys what they were looking like. I just got a natural um, color. SNS is what I get, and I always do my nails like really, really short because I don't like long nails. I've tried it, and it's just not me. Um, and I also got my book, um, TD Jake's book. I am like really, really into this now. Um, I told my friend that I wouldn't read it, but I started reading a few pages because um, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> But um, she had suggested that we do a book club. And I thought that would be cool. But they still, it's like two other girls. They still have to get their books. And so, um, actually three. They have to get their books. And um, yeah, so this morning I just kind of opened the book and started reading the first couple of pages. And, you know, just felt like, wow. But anyways, you guys, that's what's going on. Babe is out in the warehouse right now. Um, I think he's done getting unloaded. So now we have to drive, I think an hour, I think an hour, could be two, to pick up the load to bring back down. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, we ended up leaving about 10 last night. We had to be here at 6 a.m. So we drove all night until, um, you know, it was time to be here. And um, I watched the um, homecoming for Beyonce, Beehive. I mean, the homecoming from Coachella. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my God, you guys. Beyonce is like an amazing performer, an amazing um, artist. Like, she is awesome. If I could be anybody I would come back as Beyonce because I just love her talent and her ability to sing so beautiful dance and be creative and by the way she's a Virgo like me and um, <laughs> I just think she's amazing talent um, talented performer artist all the way all the way, way around so um, yeah I look I, I just admire her um, because of her talent but yes guys so this is gonna be my day just ride along with babe um so unexpected and out of the blue but he said i'm coming to get you let's go i got up and i left okay so um i just wanted to come on and check in with you guys because i started the vlog yesterday but i did not finish it because it was just like all over the place I really I don't know why I didn't pick up the camera yesterday but I did make a video over on my other channel so go check it out um, a natural dose of London and thank you guys who has gone over and subscribed to my channel I do appreciate you all um, if you haven't go on over and check me out but yeah guys I'm gonna um, read a couple of more pages and hopefully I won't go too far or too deep in this book before everybody else get the, get the chance to get their books. And, um, yeah. But let me see something. Um, I'm going to read this to you guys. It says, amazingly enough, however, what if... What if our God is so powerful, so good, and so loving that he turns the tables on the tares and uses them to make us stronger, truer, and more dependent on him? What if? I'll leave you guys with that. Think about that for a minute.
grapes, apples, and this is an awesome snack choice that he picked up from the truck stop. And I'm proud of him. And then he's been drinking like Perrier waters. And I'm trying to teach myself to um, appreciate these two because I'm not a fan of flavored or carbonated water. But I've been trying because this is a, you know, better alternative than drinking a soda. So this is great. I'm proud of Babe. Um, even though he drinks these all the time. I'm just happy that he's um, not picking up the Red Bulls, um, not really eating candy. He did get some like, uh, little licorice. They're like little licorice, they weren't that bad. I mean, that's like a, I think it wasn't so bad. Um, a little small pack. Um, but to me, I feel like he's starting to really think about um, the things that he's picking up. This makes me proud. this guy you guys look at this beautiful rest area you guys know I love the trees, but it's so pretty and green. We are in North Carolina right now. And it's just so beautiful. Trucks, truckers are resting. This is such a pretty place to come and just relax, get out the truck, walk around. I mean, look how pretty this is. It's beautiful. Babe is in the truck. He wanted to take a nap and lay down for a minute, but I wanted to get out and show you guys how pretty, peaceful, relaxing this is. And then it's like really nice out here. It's like a warm breeze coming through. Not hot, but not cold. It's just lovely, you guys. I wanted to share it. So pretty. We just left um, Cracker Barrel. We sat down and had some lunch or some, actually it's dinner because it's like five something right now. We ate and it's nice and full. Babe has to be in Virginia by 11, 11 tomorrow. So we have um, quite some time to get there. It's about four hours away from here. So he wants to take a little nap. Like I said, it's about five now. And then he'll get up and keep on going. But I had to show you guys this, because it's so beautiful.
call himself trying to protect the little girl. He saw another kid slap her, which was a boy. And Amari being Amari, he feels like, I told y'all he Martin, I think he Martin Luther King. He tried to save everything and, you know, he just stands up. So he saw that and then told the little boy, like, why are you hitting her? She's a girl. And um, the little boy told Amari to shut the F up. And then him and Amari started going back and forth. And then the, the kid pushed Amari. And that's where they started to fight. Oh, yeah. And hit him. And Amari said the, the, the boy hit him. And so from that point is where they started fighting. And then um, a teacher saw and broke them up. But I guess it was like towards the end of the day, she told them to cut it out and told him to go so I guess that's how it ended he didn't get into the office or get in trouble but and I'm thankful for that because um, like like we told him Mark, don't wait until the end of the year to start you know going to the office or getting in trouble keep your record straight I know you know you was doing right by trying to help the girl but next time go tell somebody instead of trying to handle stuff yourself go, just go tell somebody let somebody know uh, what's going on so you don't have to be involved now his finger is all he hurt his thumb so now 